All right, welcome to the third review of the evening. Up this time is Super Dino. Um, right, choose from a variety of available pictures and place the puzzle pieces together to reveal an illustrations. That is their typo. Um, when you oh, feel ready, yeah. When you feel ready, try increasing the difficulty level to earn all of the badges. Um, featuring 40 dino themed illustrations, four levels of puzzle difficulty, smart interface design for kids, natural dynamics of puzzle placement. Um, develops the logic, uh, fine logic and motor skills. Uh, soothing, relaxing music helps to concentrate. Yeah, there's not a lot here on the blurb section. And uh, yeah, that's um, about, that's about what it is. Uh, th this is a game that uh, featuring, uh, I guess, forty different images, which means they must use each one twice. Either that, or it's the same on each difficulty in there, including the there's DLC for more pictures. I think. But yes, th this is this. It's it's jigsaw puzzles with pictures of dinosaurs in superhero or other costumes. Um, the difficulty ranges from baby's first puzzle, literally they're four by four puzzles. That is the kind of puzzle you give to like a baby who's just old enough to not try and eat the pieces and actually try to fit them together. It's literally the minimum number of possible pieces for a puzzle. Um, to the staggering difficulties of Baby's fifth puzzle, which is like five by five, at which point you have to be sure that they're not going to try to eat it even more so because they're smaller at that size. Um, the most difficult thing about doing it is the fact that you are timed for three stars if you care about that, and that... Um, The fact that the puzzle pieces like overlap a lot on the side area where you need to do them. So sometimes like. I don't think it's a like hot take or a uh, rare take to say that the traditional strategy for doing. A jigsaw puzzle, unless it's one of those really hard ones for people who are super into jigsaw puzzles that makes this impossible is to form the frame and then figure out the insides. And sometimes you can't grab all of the frame pieces easily because since they're kind of slightly randomized, the inside pieces are all on the top. So you kind of have to guess and put them in the grid. But even then, it's super not that hard because uh, the grid is a snap to grid and all of the pieces are basically squares with identical um, bytes taken out of them or sticking out of them as the case may be. So yeah, um, good for kids under five, I guess. Maybe up to like six or seven. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know baby ages. Um, but I would not recommend this for anyone who is capable of playing platformers or real puzzle games. Like even a baby, I might try to get them like Tetris or something. Instead, I don't know. There's really very little to this. Uh, the pictures are cute, I guess. If you're into that. Uh, I think I'm running out of stuff to say. Do you guys have any questions or comments? I think I'm good. Adam, how, how much is I also I do not know what the time requirements for one, two and three star are. Uh, the five star ones at least take a little bit of time to do again, because mostly the. The pieces that are for the edges are sometimes buried pretty deep. All right. So what how price wise, Adam? You're not going to like it. It's well, the regular price is nine ninety nine, but it is on sale 
at this particular moment in time, 80% off for $199. Uh, $199 is fair. Uh, oh. I would, for 10 bucks, I would find a real baby's first jigsaw puzzle for for 10 for 10 bucks you could probably buy an actual jigsaw puzzle that's what i'm saying like go find like an actual jigsaw puzzle and give your kids some tactile experience mm. i don't even remember i think i checked it to see if it was touch screen enabled uh and it was but i don't even remember for sure because honestly i did not play this very much Honestly, I did, small I did enough like, for this game, I would want them nowhere near touching my Switch. I, I do two or th I did two or three puzzles of each difficulty, just to make sure there wasn't anything interesting happening. There wasn't. I think that's all I got. Okay. Sorry. There is a limited amount that I can say about. <laughs> it's impressive that you managed to say this much. All right. And. Uh, and there's also the downloadable content, the Dino X pack. I believe this is more puzzles, which I think means more art. Yeah, Dino X is a collection of 2D additional game levels featuring dinosaurs that extend the fun of Super Dino. So I cannot say for sure that they don't increase more difficulty levels, but also, even though I think it's only like two bucks, I was not interested in playing more of it. <laughs> Much less spending money on it. Yeah, especially that I would spend money on. Mm. Hey. Anything else? Uh, no, that's about what I got. All right. So that'll about do it for Super Dino here. Be sure to tune in after the break as we'll be reviewing Road Frog.